Good evening and welcome on this cold day here in Western PA. Hey, this one is, uh, I call it the Dickie Betts Country Jam. And I noticed this one online between a concert. Dickie, Dan Toller, and some other dude were backstage jamming. And I kind of copped it off that. And it's pretty close to what they're doing. Not exactly, but it, it's close. And it's fun, too. It's a fun thing to play. And this one's in A. And there's a lot of seventh chords in it. Mostly seventh chords. Which you'll notice, I'll be playing with my thumb in the bass. Instead of like this. That's just how I do it. Uh, let's jump right in. So it's A7. The one chord, the fourth chord. And I play a D9. Could play a 7. I like the 9 there. And back to the A7. Line 2 is A7. B7. E9. Embellish with a 13. And pull off. Line 3 is the A. Then to the C sharp 7. which is the three chord in a dominant fashion. Then the F sharp seven, the six chord in a dominant fashion. So those three lines are, this is a strumming pattern too. B seven. And that is where I uh, kind of do the chromatic thing. He does it. And it's it's D, D sharp, E, F sharp. With chords behind it. So it's D7, D sharp, diminished. And this is an A chord with an E in the bass. To, uh, to keep going up chromatically, you need that E. But the A, just an A chord drop that E in. And the last one is an F sharp 9. And I sharp the 9 too. F sharp 9, sharp 9, mouthful, but that's what I call it. So that kind of sounds like this. Played in rhythm, it's... I kind of choke it off. I kind of hit the bass hit the chord, very slightly hit the chord, but I choke it real quick. Gives it a cool sound. After that chromatic walk up, this is the only minor chords, minor seventh chord I play. And I think it sounds better than the, I mean, you could probably play the B, the B seventh, but I like to play the B minor seventh there right after that walk up. B minor 7 to the E to the 5 and back to the 1. So that's Then there's a chromatic walk down from A to F sharp 7. They're all 7th chords. Little embellishments I'm using there. Hit that D with my pinky on this F sharp. Just kind of plucking the seventh chord as I go, but. And then after that, you go to a B7, and I'm kind of doing the same thing, plucking notes within the chord and pulling up on this C sharp occasionally. Go to the just an E chord after that, and I, I embellish that by hammering on the, the uh, major third. You know. And back to the A. Then slides down, does the same thing again chromatically. And the second time it hangs on E. A little longer. And the end turnaround, I play an E augmented. 
with the sharp five there, the one, the three, and the sharp five. Augmented chord any. So that section is. Hang on E. Okay, and then it goes back to the A, like the beginning. D, A, B7, E, pull off that 13. C sharp, just like we did before, F sharp. Then there's the walk, chromatic walk up. I kind of end the song there with the old Elvis. And I, I picture Elvis doing something like this. Slowing it down. So that Elvis thing that I'm doing is uh, the B, B7. We're gonna play it like that. To the E, nine. To the A, to the D. Back to the A. And I kind of end it, I close it out with a 13 slid up. And some other lick I think I threw in there. Thank you very much.